working together and creating opportunities. Gifted 30 is breaking the cycle. Indian Institutes of Technology or more commonly known as IIT is a group of 23 autonomous prestigious engineering and technology institutes of higher education established and declared as Institute of National Importance by the Parliament of India. Post-independence IIT was established by the then Education Minister of India Maulana Azad in 1951. IIT Kharagpur was the first IIT of Free India and since then the number rose up to 23. Since the establishment, IITs have produced world-class scientists and engineers who have brought India on the map of skilled workforce. What makes IITs so unique? There are government colleges like National Institutes of Technologies or NITs, Central Universities, State Engineering Colleges which are all great centers of knowledge, producing engineers. But as an IIT graduate, you can get to experience more than the traditional university setting. These are world-class premier institutes producing the cream for the growing knowledge economy. Every year, Government of India spends approximately 6,000 crore rupees on these 23 IITs, which is 27% of its total education budget for higher education. Therefore, the kind of infrastructure at IITs is world-class. From grand libraries to state-of-the-art classrooms and hostels to the plethora of laboratories equipped for practical understanding and applied learning is all beyond comparison. The teaching faculties comprise best-in-class professors. At IITs, the faculty-student ratio is around 1 is to 8, which is exceptional compared to other colleges. It means students get the required attention and shine to their full potential. A degree from IIT provides a solid professional base, which attracts placements from the best tech industries of the world. The range of career options broadens from placements in IT or software sector to management related careers to services in financial sector to becoming a data analyst or becoming an educator from securing high-level posts in public sector or entering into research and development field to fast-moving consumer goods. The pay packages offered are also par excellence with positions both in India and across the globe. Admission in these prestigious institutes is through a very rigorous common admission process using the Joint Entrance Examination, popularly known as IIT-JEE, -E, which includes JEE Mains and JEE Advance. This entrance exams can be written after 10 plus 2, that is 12th standard, but the preparation starts from 10th standard only. The reason behind such level of hard work is that there is a lot of competition and it is not easy to gain admission in IITs, as every year. Only 2% of all applicants who attempt to crack the entrance exam manage to secure a seat. So when we compare this uh, JE exam uh, with uh, uh, some of the subjects that are taught here in uh, some of our universities in Australia, so here is a question paper I was looking at. The depth of questions that are asked can be even difficult for students in the first or second year who are studying in uh, bachelor degree level in Australia. It's really quite ambitious that they're trying to test chemistry and physics and maths and the paper is laid out fairly nicely in that you have to earn one mark per minute. Thus, entrance into IITs is tough. Its preparation is hard and expensive. If selected, the fees is also high. Even a bright student from lower middle class financial background would hardly gather courage to prepare for it. So the major question here is how to provide equal opportunities to the bright students from underprivileged section of the society. Another big concern is that 
India is the third largest Muslim populated country in the world, with just 3% out of 65 million population to clear such exams, making the future scenario very vulnerable. So what is being done to balance this gap? To break the cycle, in 2015, the two organizations, namely Munshi Manubarwala Memorial Charitable Trust and Progressive Muslim Education Trust, came forward with a unique project in Gujarat, named Gifted 30, to prepare students from very poor families to compete for entry into these highly claimed colleges. Over the last two years, we have had incredible success with case studies of children from poor backgrounds standing shoulder to shoulder with middle class students. The selections for Gifted 30 project are based on rigorous scrutinization, the beneficiary being 10th standard boys and girls, preferably from poor socioeconomic background. The selected girls and boys are offered intensive training at exclusive study centers in Bharuj, where they are trained by faculties who come from diverse backgrounds and are alumnus of several IITs, NITs, PhDs and medical doctors. This is not all. They get to stay in a hostel equipped with all necessary facilities related to study. For holistic development, they are provided with a place for Ibadat. Any project which has a noble intention behind it is definitely ought to bear fruits. And so is true for Gifted 30 project. Ever since its inception, it has achieved great outcomes with a success rate of 72% in medical entrance exam, 70% result in JE mains and 55% result in JE advance exams. This is not all, as Gifted 30 project is gearing up for more success and expansion in future, for which it appeals to its well-wishers to contribute with open hearts, as no service is as noble as to serve one's own community.